The Tupelo Lee Humane Society took in more than 40 dogs who had been found at a home in Baldwin. WTVA's Evan Hensley spoke with the Humane Society and joins us live with what's next for the pups. And the majority of those dogs are already here at the Tupelo Lee Humane Society. Their next steps are to get medically checked before they having an opportunity to have a new home. We did take over 40 animals from the property today. The Humane Society and the Baldwin Police Department went out to that home in Baldwin to seize the animals this morning. Now 30 of the 40 sit in the Humane Society. It can, it's actually very heartbreaking and very tasking on you emotionally um, to see, you know, a person that has allowed themselves to be so overwhelmed that they're unable to provide that. The Humane Society is keeping those dogs away from the normal population for safety. We just want to make sure that we kind of quarantine them for a little while. We don't have any vaccination history on them. Uh, we're uncertain of we're uncertain of what they've been exposed to. Those dogs will receive vaccines and see a vet in the coming weeks. While some of those dogs could be taken out of the state and adopted elsewhere, many of them will stay right here in Lee County and could be adopted by Northeast Mississippians. The Humane Society reached out to the public on Facebook after the seizure, asking if anyone could help with the fostering of pets already at the shelter to clear up some space. Um, it's really important that if you get a pet, we want to make sure that people spay and neuter mm -hmm. um, because, you know, you never want something like this to get out of control. The Humane Society already has plans in place to go back to that home over the next few days to make sure the rest of the dogs end up here at their shelter. Reporting live in Tupelo, I'm Evan Hensley, WTVA 9 News.